Good morning. How was your sleepies? Should we read some books? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Little rooster, you're early to ride. Good morning, Bee. It was pretty hard in the beginning when Amelia was like a fresh newborn to even look after myself and brush my teeth and do any skincare. But now that she's a bit older, I really just try and take the time. It seriously takes me like five to eight minutes to just brush my teeth, do my skincare, brush my hair. And it just makes me feel so much better all the day. I got my hair washed and cut and curled yesterday. It is just falling out so bad. I'm trying to be gentle with it, but it gets so naughty really quickly now. It's very annoying. I'm actually surprised how smooth it still looks. Usually curls just do not last in my hair. Like I don't know how people are getting days out of curling their hair. Mine's usually ruined the next day. Like even this needs a touch up because look, it's all like puffy again. Bed. Well, an official good morning from Amelia and I, and hello, oh my god, welcome back to a vlog. It has been a while. I think I vlogged with Amelia when she was like seven weeks old, so it's been a while since I've done a video. This little munchkin is five months old today. <laughs> She is doing so well. Things just feel so much better. That newborn phase is freaking, <coughs> bless you, hard. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like things are definitely feeling, I don't really like to use the word easier, but maybe we're just settling into this more. Those first like six weeks were really really hard but i am really enjoying this age that she's at now she's smiling and she started giggling she's really observant and loves to just watch what's going on and today i am just hanging out at home so i thought i would vlog a more realistic day in the life although we do try and venture out quite a bit we were going to a mother's group it actually runs with the school term so it's ended now but we'll be going back for the next term. We go to the library for rhyme time. We are starting a sensory class soon, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, we've been getting out of the house a bit more. It's been really good. I do really love our chill at home days though. And we actually went to Melbourne last week for the Chemist Warehouse brand showcase. We were gone for four days. So I just want to stay at home this week because that was like obviously a huge effort. But Amelia did so well. You did so good on the plane, didn't you? But I actually got a huge goodie bag that I want to give you a haul of today. I've got a little cotton on haul to show you. And then yeah, we'll just chill out. Okay, see what the day brings. Amelia woke up at about 7.30 this morning, which she usually wakes up, I guess, between 7.30 and 8.30. She can only stay awake for about an hour first thing before she's ready for another nap. When it comes to eating and sleeping, I really just follow her cues and rely like roughly on wake windows. So as I said, I know in the morning she can only last about an hour before she's tired again. Um, but during the day, and now that she's getting a bit older, she can go about an hour and a half to two hours in between her naps. So I feel like there's a little bit of a pattern with her naps. There's not really so much of a pattern with her feeding. I, again, just go off her cues. When she's hungry, I feed her. We are still contact napping during the day. It has been working really well for us. She sleeps so great in my lap and I do love cuddling her. I do want to start transitioning to some cot naps so I have downloaded a little guide from this lady I found on Instagram and I want to start trialing that as of next week. I feel like I have to be mentally ready for it because I know it's going to take a lot of you know persistence and effort from me as well so sometimes she will feed to sleep like if she's super tired but most of the time I'm still rocking her, bouncing on the ball. Lots of movement really helps with her. So I'm a bit like nervous about trying the cot sleeps 
because she likes the movement so also her day naps vary as well like there's no schedule because she wakes up at a different time each day and sometimes her first nap might be 30 minutes sometimes it might be two hours so I just follow her lead by doing that it has taken so much stress off of me I remember in those first couple weeks I was really trying hard to stick to this like routine of like you know you should be asleep now and blah 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 and at the end of it I was just the one in tears and crying and stressing out so we stopped that <laughs> I stopped tracking everything and it has been much better for us so while she has a nap i usually put an airpod in and watch some real housewives i actually did just watch the whole of vanderpump rules over the last <laughs> month or so and now i'm back on to real housewives of atlanta i just started season 11. Mommy loves your lips and mommy loves your toes Hello! <laughs> Hello! Was that a good nap? Do you feel refreshed? And this is why I have a blanket on the lounge as well where we sit i also have these towels all around the house they're actually nappies from kmart like reusable cloth nappies but they are so good for cleaning up mess well that was a pretty big sleep she slept for about an hour and a half so i am starving i think i might make some eggs for brekkie i usually just have the pram inside because it's easier to put her in but it's in the car so we'll just put her in the bouncer these are like her favorite things to play with these links and i always need to have them in rainbow order <laughs> and then we've just got this teether on the end all right i'm just having some scrambled eggs with a bit of cheese and parsley usually i would put spinach in it as well but we don't have any and i'm going to cook some toast and then I'll have some avocado as well. Let's see if it's a good one. <laughs> Yum. I'm really trying to remember to take all my like vitamins and prenatals as well because it can be hard to focus on eating well when you've got a baby. So I do try my best, but um, yeah, some days it's it can be difficult. I recently got this magnetic planner from Kmart and I've just put Amelia and then AM and PM for me. So a reminder every day to give Amelia her probiotics and then for me to have my supplements. I missed um, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but <laughs> we'll do it today. So these are all from my naturopath. I've got a DHA and choline which oh, is actually empty. I need to get another one. <laughs> this is GFD. I'm pretty sure this was like the folate tablet. I was taking all throughout my pregnancy as well. I had to get a different kind of folate because I had the MTFR something gene and you absorb, um, you absorb it differently. I don't, I'm no naturopath. That's what I can remember. <laughs> and then I've got my iron because I'm very low in that. Let me get a new one of these. I'm pretty sure this is just like omega-3. I don't eat seafood, so I'm really not getting a lot in my diet. I'm also just going to put some hemp seeds sprinkled on top. These also have omega-3 and 6. There we go. We've got our eggs on toast. I feel like this isn't going to be enough. I'm actually really starving. <laughs> Juice to take with my tablets and coffee. Okay, I'm feeling satisfied from that. I don't think I need to eat more. I was just very hungry before. All right, bring the baby over. Bring the baby over. <laughs> you sit here and watch mama. 
cleaning in general. Like before her, I was very anal and love to clean the house. I still do. It does make me feel just more calm when things are tidy. But I've learned now that it's okay if the dishes sit there for a day <laughs> or two or three. Like it doesn't matter. It'll get done. Don't let it stress you out, especially if she's not in the mood. All that shit can wait. I need to focus on her. Clinton hung up the artwork in Amelia's room. I ordered this one off Etsy. And as you can see, you can personalize it to say their name. I think it's so cute. On this wall, we've got a little Amelia sign that my old boss made me. Isn't it so cute? We've got some shelves here. I've got her baby book to go up there. These rainbows are from Etsy. Got that for the baby shower. This frame is just from Kmart and I put her ultrasound in it. This is also from, well, actually, I don't know. It's from a friend, but I'm assuming from Etsy. Oh, this mat I absolutely love. It's from Harlow & Co. It's like really soft and squishy, way nicer than our carpet. <laughs> so it's really good for her to just lay on. And if she vomits, it's easy to clean up. We got this little water mat from Kmart too, which she absolutely loves. Like she'll lay on her tummy and just try and eat this little turtle. It's so funny. And then a favorite is this Fisher and Price play mat. <laughs> she tries to roll and she gets stuck. But yeah, she loves the dangly things and I just brought some extra links to make them longer for her to be able to reach. You made it onto your tummy. Good job, Bubba. Good job. Might fold some of your washing while you have a play, hey? You're a mum, what are your favorite onesie brands? So I've got a few from Target, which I like because they have the double zip, but I find the feet are a little bit small. So I don't know if she's just, you know, Bigfoot over here, but I do love the Bonds ones and I've actually found some cute prints. Like I think this one is quite nice. It's still very bright, but nice and girly. And I love the one she's wearing with the flowers on it. I um, always keep an eye out for when Bonds has sales. They recently did a really big one and I got a whole bunch for like, they were $10 each. It was so good. Oh, I got these bibs too from Ryla and Co. I got this beautiful floral one and then just a plain pink and a plain peach. Just for like when we're going out, she's got like a nicer outfit on. That way she's got a bib to like match her outfit and they're not too big. They're really absorbent and they don't like stay wet either. I really like them. You had enough? All right, let's turn that off. Here we go, what's this? Yeah, so like these bigger bibs I just use for at home, which I should probably put one on you now because you dribble a lot. Currently in three zeros, but I think she's about to make the transition up to twos. <sighs> Chuck the towels away in here. As I said, we go through a lot of them. <laughs> and then in her wardrobe, we've got some hanging and shelves. So I've just got them labeled here. So it's very helpful for Clinton or my mom or anyone who is over here dressing her or putting away the clothes. We've got her little headbands, her bibs, socks, little blankets, sleep sacks, which she doesn't really use these love to dream ones anymore because her arms are out. So instead we're using these ergo pouch ones where she can put her arms out. I prefer to hang up a lot of her clothes as well. I just, I hate folded clothes, even for me. And these little coat hangers are from Kmart. They're really affordable and get quite a lot. How cute is this little onesie or this little romper I got her the other day? from best and less so cute but it's finally starting to get a little bit warmer here so she's been starting to wear her little like short sleeve onesies but should we get you changed when we're at home i don't even really change her like <laughs> she's trying to eat the rattle i just leave her in her onesie unless she vomits on it or has a blowout i do feel like i need to get changed though i'm feeling a bit slobbish in this outfit I actually picked up some really cute outfits from Seed the other day for her. Got this short sleeve onesie and it also comes with like some little shorts to go over the top. So cute. And then I grabbed these little 
Do you call them shorts? I don't know, but how freaking cute are they? And then I got this one. It's like an oversized long sleeve romper. Super, super cute. So all these clothes are her next size up. Yeah, you roll onto your tummy and then you get the shits. Hey. She's starting to get up onto her knees though. Do you like some help? There we go. <gasps> Peekaboo. There she is. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful smile. Woohoo! <laughs> you are my ray of light. I want to play. Yeah. Oh, that's a girl. I'm probably reaching, but I want to try and curl my hair again just while it's like still semi nice but she's starting to get a little moody so we'll see how this goes i think if i just keep talking to her and singing to her we might make it through good job she made it through me doing my hair so she's been awake for nearly two hours now and one of her major tired signs is that her little eyebrows go red and she was getting a bit fussy in there so i can tell she's Getting tired, so I might make a quick snack, get my water ready. Right, I got my water and just a muesli bar for a snack because a little miss was not having it. She is starving. How was your sleep? She slept for about 30, 40 minutes. Fell asleep on the boob. I always love that. <laughs> Let's change that stinky bum, hey? Gonna go wash my hands, okay? And I'll get the pram ready. We can go for a walk. Little baby toes. <laughs> Look at those little baby toes. All right, that was good. We got about 15 minutes, which is really good for her because she doesn't love the pram. But that was nice to get some fresh air. I am starving now. I need lunch. Actually, before I have lunch, let me show you what I grabbed from Cotton On. I'm on the hunt for some denim shorts because it is starting to get hot. And all the ones I have don't currently fit me. So, we're on the hunt. Okay, so this is the first pair. They are the High Mum denim short. All right, I grabbed them all in a size 12. A little bit tight and probably a little bit short for my liking as well. Do you like the colour of the denim though? Yeah, you know, like you sit down and everything just falls over the top. 14 would probably be better and I wonder if it would be a bit longer too. All right, these ones are the Carpenter denim shorts. Oh, again, a bit tight. Not obsessed with the colour though in this style. I feel like they're a bit dad genie. And then these ones are also the high mum, but they're from the curvy range. I thought they might fit better because my butt is usually bigger. <laughs> but... Oh, they're also a size 12 and they are way tighter than the other ones. Also too short, but I like this color of denim. Well, none of them are a win, which I knew this would be a hunt, but it's just too hard to go shopping with her at the moment because she doesn't love the pram. So she's usually in the wrap carrier. I think it's obviously very hard to try clothes on like that. I did also pick up an oversized shirt because they're my favorite. This one was, oh, it says it was $30, but I think there was 30% off of everything. The one I've currently got on is from Gander. And these bike shorts are just from Kmart. They were 10 bucks. They are a bit short. They're really high waisted, so they're super comfy. All right, lunch is served. I've got some leftover stir fry, a nice big bowl because I'm a hungry girl these days. Right. It's nap time again for this little munchkin. She hasn't been awake as long, but I can just tell she's getting tired. She's a little bit moody and her eyebrows are a little bit red and she gets this real slow blink as well. Don't you, Bubba? Yeah. Time for a sleep. Let's put on the lullabies. Mm. It's the next day. <laughs> My sister ended up coming over yesterday afternoon because Clinton is actually away for work. So she come over at about 5.30. That's when Amelia woke up. She slept for three hours yesterday afternoon. But yeah, so my sister come over just to help in the evening. And then we went to bed at about 8.30. She usually sleeps like all through the night, 
But last night she was really fussing around and whatever. So I got her up at about four to like rock her and calm her down a bit. And then I noticed her nappy was super full. So I was like, okay, maybe that's making her uncomfortable. And I don't like changing her nappy overnight because it wakes her up. And so of course I changed her nappy, she woke up. I tried to feed her back to sleep. She wasn't going back to sleep. So then I rocked her, went to put her down. She woke up, tried to feed her again. Still not going to sleep, rocked her again, finally got her to sleep, laid her down, eyes woke up again. I was like, oh, and it was like 5.30 by this time. So then I was like starting to get a bit annoyed and I was tired. So I just laid her down, laid there for a bit and then she eventually fed back to sleep again. So that really doesn't happen often, but that's all right. So then we woke up at about 8.30 and went out and had a coffee with a friend. Didn't we, Baba? <laughs> yeah. And then she's just waking up from a nap and it's about 11 o'clock. So we're gonna go for a walk now. Oh, vomies. Ah. So we're gonna go for a walk now, get some fresh air. And then I wanna give you that chemist warehouse haul. <laughs> go. What do you see? Oh my God, that was so delicious. I'm in my bagel era. <laughs> I'm just enjoying bagels a lot. And that cream cheese and avocado. Mm. The other day I made a bagel with a coleslaw with Dijon mayo in it. Nice fresh ham, a slice of cheese, avocado. Oh, I'm drooling just thinking about it. It was so delicious. I want to eat that right now. This is the goodie box from Chemist Warehouse. It is so full. All right, let's quickly run through this because Little Miss is getting tired. She got some dribble bibs. These are the fruit salad. <laughs> so cute. And then she got a onesie. This is the size six to 12 months, so it won't fit her for a while. And then we also got some of like the singlet onesies because it is getting into the warmer weather. So cute. They feel really, really soft. They got a good amount of stretch to them. So I think we are going to get a lot of wear out of these singlet ones, especially. This was the little passport they gave us when we got there. We took a, a passport pick and they did like put stamps in it and stuff and it told you what brands were there. We got a bunch of face masks. Oh, actually, I think these are pimple patches. The people on the bus go up and down. All right, makeup wise, we got a few. All right, makeup wise, we got a few mascaras, including this new one from Maybelline, CoverGirl, L'Oreal, and Revlon. I believe this is a new release. Also from CoverGirl, we've got the Clean Invisible powder. Looks very good. We got some lip products from CoverGirl, and I believe this is a new one from Rimmel, the Lasting Mega Matte Lipstick. Hair stuff, we got the Got To Be Curls Spray. This will actually be really good for me as I do have wavy hair. The Glued, what are these called? You know, like the mascara ones, I love this one. We got some Evening Elixir Powder, some collagen. This is also some collagen from Dose & Co. Some immune boost tablets, some apple cider vinegar gummies, some dry shampoo, a little Dermavine moisturizing lotion, one of the CeraVe moisturizing lotions. We got the Level Up Everyday, Everyday, <laughs> Everyday Hydration mixed berry flavors. So these are electrolytes. Got some toothpaste. Got this new skincare range from Swiss, the Brightening Gel Cleanser, the Glycolic Serum, and a Vitamin C. She did give me the rundown on this. It sounds really good. I'm very excited to try that out. We got some La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm. I hear really, really good things about this. Some of the Thayer's Facial Toner. Again, I hear so many things about that on TikTok. Another toothpaste, this is by High Smile. They've released a whole range, all different flavors. This is banana. Some of the Kristen S shampoo and conditioner, just little minis. We've got the Wonderlust turmeric anti-inflammatory like drops. We've got some more serums, some SPF, 
all the Cetaphil Bright Healthy Radiance. This is also a new release. There's a cleanser. This is the night cream. There's a day cream and a serum as well. We've got some of the Boost Electrolyte tablet, a lavender oil soap by Freshwater Farm, and some Avene. Is that how you say it? 50 plus. A few other little things in there too, but Missy is getting quite agitated, so we'll call it a day. I was so spoiled and it was just such a good time chatting to all the brand reps and hearing about the latest releases. But yeah, if you want to see any of these products in action or hear reviews on any of them, just leave me a comment. I know I ran through them pretty fast, so I didn't really get to explain anything, but that's what it is now. But I think I will wrap things up here the rest of the day. We are just going to chill. She is going to have a nap. So hopefully it's a big one after last night's antics but yeah i really miss playing with makeup and uploading makeup videos i hope to get there soon i'm slowly dabbling into like content for instagram and stuff which has been really fun but yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and hopefully i will see you guys again soon bye bye, bye, -bye.